welcome back to the kitchen with Mike and Lisa. Yay. We did miss you last week, but Mike came back to Mike came back. I guess. No. Mike <laughs> had came down with a stomach bug yep. and you didn't want Mike, Lisa, and a stomach bug in the, in kitchen. the kitchen. So <laughs> would not have been a good one. No. no. So we are back um this week. Mm -hmm. And we are going to make a, sorry, I have a dog licking my leg. <laughs> we are going to make a, what's the name? <laughs> a Brussels sprout. Sage sausage. Sweet potato. Casserole. Casserole? Bake? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fall, right? Most of y'all are harvesting, have harvested, or will soon be harvesting your sweet potatoes, right? And Brussels sprouts are, you know, in this time of year, some of y'all are still growing them like us. Now, uh, these are not ours, but no. <laughs> we have some in, and we're hoping to grow some. We have, to date, in the last seven, eight years we've been growing, Yeah. only one time have we ever grown any. One time, so. and, and they were... You know, little little thumbnail. Yes, <laughs> they were small. Yeah, so, so we're hoping. But we these keep are, trying though, cause we like them. Yeah. yeah, these are our sweet potatoes that we just picked um, recently. So, yeah. and this is great for like you know Turkey Day. You know, if you're having Thanksgiving or whatever, and need a different. And you're tired of the mac and cheese yes. and the potatoes and the corn and the yes. Yeah, just throw throw this together. It's a whole different taste. We we have. I think you're um, all are gonna enjoy it. Yeah, if you if you go to Sunday dinner at somebody's house, uh, Sunday dinner, well, Ooh. Sunday dinner too. But if you go to uh, Thanksgiving at somebody's house and um, you need to bring a side dish, this is an excellent excellent one to uh, bring. Just so. make sure you get your cast iron back. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> All right, so Mike's gonna go ahead and get started on this. Um, one of the ways that we found this was when we started eating better after my heart attack, we were looking for uh, recipes for Brussels sprouts because Mike didn't like Brussels sprouts. Nope. And uh, I used to watch The Chew when it was on and one of my favorite uh, cooking shows was yeah. The Chew. And uh, this was one of the recipes and it became one of our uh, favorites. Yep. It's very, very tasty. It's flavorful. It's different. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's and like I said, it's a great awesome. if you're going to like a potluck or something or family dinner to bring. So that's our sausage, of course. And we are uh, cutting this recipe down in uh, half. Half. So um, the recipe we will post will be the full recipe. Yep. So just a little olive oil for the pan and then break the sausage down. You're going to cook it about five minutes till it's almost done. So the recipe itself called for a half a pound? Half a pound sage sausage. And we uh, broke it down to half the recipe, so we're using a fourth. Yep, so we've got our sausage, uh, which is not a sage sausage, so I do have a sage sausage blend here. Uh, normally you'd put in about a tablespoon per pound, and since this is a quarter pound, uh, we're going to go with about a teaspoon. Teaspoon is yeah, sounds good. four teaspoons or three no, teaspoons? No, three teaspoons three? is a tablespoon. That's close enough, so we're going to throw that on there. Yeah. Now we do have an Italian sausage recipe that um, we have a video on. I don't believe we have one on the... Um, breakfast, breakfast sausage, sausage that you came up with. No, not yet. No, so we might need but to But it's make coming. <laughs> so his blend, um, yeah, we just keep it on hand at all times. Yeah, I just mixed up a whole bunch, and then uh, as we break one out or whatever, I'll just mix it in by hand or whatever, and then we'll fry it up, make some patties out of it or whatever. Oh, my goodness, it smells so good. This is going to be so good today, especially because it's a rainy yet skip day out yeah. and this is like one of those comfort foods for sure yeah, right. what do i need to preheat the oven to uh 375 375 yeah okay so we're doing it in a cast iron because it's going to go straight from the range to or straight from the <laughs> stove top to the range yeah yeah all right so once you get your sausage about done nice and brown or whatever just throw it oh, Throw in your sweet potatoes, and you're going to cook these about five minutes just to start getting them soft. 
And that was supposed to be about two cups, um, which actually was our about a large size uh, sweet potato. So we kind of threw the whole thing in. Yep. And it was peeled and cubed. So this is just going to be a whole bunch of frying. So we'll pull you back for the next iteration. Yeah, yeah. We're going to cook up these uh, sweet potatoes. Unless y'all want to sit, and, you know, sit there and watch us. Have a uh, drink with us. <laughs> enjoy. Yeah, we'll get this cooked up. Um, about how long did it say for the sweet potatoes? About five minutes. About five minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah so we'll get that to. Um, cook down and uh, we'll just bring you back at that point. It smells so good. Now we're ready. Cheers. Cheers. A little salt, a little pepper. All right, so the sweet potatoes have started to uh, soften. We're gonna go ahead and add our Brussels sprouts in there and cook them about an additional three minutes or so. You want them to Start to soften up, but not to be done, or else by the time they come out of the uh, oven, they're kind of, like you can't call it mush, but they're pretty dirty soft. And we don't want mush. No. Look at that. Isn't that just pretty, the colors that they present? So fall-like, you know? Yeah, just screams fall. Yeah. Now, which, is this the 10-inch skillet you went with? This is the 10-inch, okay. yeah. You and thought again, you were going to try the eight. <laughs> I no. think what we had done before we cut it down even more when we did the eight. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, I think so. And then that one time we made it for uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, we did the whole. We did the big 12-inch. Yes, for skillet. sure. So, and this is all done on medium-high heat. Uh, so just kind of judge it. Oop, making a mess. And honestly, it is a fairly healthy recipe, you guys. It's it's not got that much um, bad, bad, stuff. bad bad stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's good. Yeah. You know, eat eat a wide variety. We we don't preach about you know you can't have fats. You can't oh no. Have sugars. You know, moderate. It's all about moderation. Right. You know. So, yeah. And it's got the good stuff in it too. So. Mm -hmm. Already, you smell them Brussels sprouts already. Smells so good. I'm telling you, one of these days they're gonna invent uh, smell a vision. <laughs> yeah, we just pipe it into your living room. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what comes after the Brussels sprouts? Uh, liquids. Let them cook a little bit longer, gotcha. and then. Uh, Top it, mix, no, mix the cheese in and then top it and chunk her in the oven. And I'll make sure to post the recipe at the end again and I'll probably just uh, post it to where you can just grab a, a screenshot of it um, like I did on our last video. Yeah, yeah it's looking pretty good. Smells so good. These are popping. All right, so we're gonna. That is chicken stock, and that is, of course, ours. Chicken stock, uh, three quarters of a cup. Milk. Uh, no, heavy cream. Heavy cream. Heavy cream. <laughs> Again, not everything's healthy, but. Yeah. We're going to go with quarter cup. Right, and this is the half the recipe. I'm going to, what I'm going to post is going to be the full recipe. Give that a little mix. Let it come to a boil. Now, salt and pepper, you know, just salt and pepper it to your taste. Uh, I don't know how potent your sausage is. Uh, right. So, just kind of. And you are going to be adding some red pepper flake also. Yeah, let's throw that in there right now. So. And, of course, we, again, went with the um, Korean red pepper flake because... That's what I like. Yeah, she likes that over the standard crushed red pepper that you get at the box stores and supermarkets. Right. Look, look, that is so beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm telling you folks, you're going to love this recipe. So we're going to let that cook for about three more minutes. 
And while we're doing that, we have a uh, quarter cup. Quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and half a, a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Mix that in. That's going to be your topping. We're going to sprinkle that over the top and then all that juice and Does this yumminess. go in before that? No, after before. Yes, before, before that. Okay. Yeah. So, like I was saying earlier, Mike um, did not like Brussels sprouts. Nope. And so, this is one of the recipes that we found that um, we liked for, I could get him to eat Brussels sprouts with. Yep. Um, there's another one. Oh, that mustard one. A mustard uh, one that he likes, the Brussels sprouts also. Yeah, it's Brussels sprouts that are sauteed and then uh, finished off in apple juice, chicken stock, and, and a mustard Dijon sauce. mustard. Yeah. Ooh, doggy. Yeah, and he really likes that. So um, we may do that for y'all at another time so that anybody that maybe doesn't like Brussels sprouts, um, maybe try it and maybe you'll find out that you can eat them that way. You know, maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. And then, of course, there's the really, really bad recipe that <laughs> you deep fat fry them, you put honey on them. Uh, candied onions, candied onions, pork some belly. pork belly yeah. that are to die for, and I think even anybody that hates Brussels sprouts might even eat them that way. Yeah. But you know, yeah, that's we, really a no no, especially after a heart attack. That's a, a going out thing every once in a great while that'll yes. get ordered. Yes. Yeah. But yes. yeah, <laughs> we're not doing that at the house. No. We don't own a deep fryer. I'm not gonna. Nope. 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 Not happening. Not happening. Um, you want to talk about the goat cheese? Yes. Uh, I'm not a big fan of goat cheese. I like goat cheese. She likes it. And in this recipe, I was really hesitant about putting goat cheese in it. But, you know, we're, we're true to the form of whenever we try a recipe, we try it exactly as it's written, and then we make our changes. We didn't have to make any changes. Surprisingly. It works. it works really good. Yeah, it really does. You get kind of a twang from the goat cheese with kind of the bitterness from the Brussels sprouts with the sweetness of the sweet potato and the heat of the red pepper. It just, it really goes good. It really good. does, die. It really goes good. Yeah. Now, if you just totally don't want to try it or if you're on a budget, goat cheese is very expensive. Um, you can substitute cream cheese for it. Yeah. yeah. Um. I will tell you that if you want to try it with goat cheese and you are on a budget, if you have an Aldi's, they have a very there good, go. very good um, goat cheese for half the price than your just normal generic goat cheese at a grocery store, half the price. So that is always something to think about also. Or like I said, if you just don't want to try it at all or just really can't afford it, then just substitute it for a cream cheese is fine. So that's going in next. And that is a six ounce package. Four, four, four ounce. I'm oh, sorry, four ounce package. Yeah. So the original recipe again, you know, you would we just have twice it. that. So and they, I don't know if they sell them any bigger than this. No, I you would have to get two them. packages. Yeah. So they're almost always pretty small. And uh, yeah. here I'll grab that for you, babe. Thank you, love. You We're just start. gonna mix this all in together. Let it melt as evenly as you can. Oh, I cannot wait to sit down with this. I'm telling you what. This it's like like she said today is just a dreary wet We've got uh, Ophelia off our coast right now, so it's just, it's yucky. Yeah. And this smells so good for a yucky type of day. Now, you don't have to, you know, absolutely perfectly homogenize all the stuff. Just kind of mix it in. That, to me, looks fairly, yeah. fairly good. Yep. So I'm just going to push everything down. Pop this out the way. We'll sprinkle our topping on Ooh, evenly you. as best we can. And we used uh, grated 
Parmesan. You can you can use the powder stuff if you want. It kind of doesn't matter. It's more about the flavor. We just tend to like and keep the uh, fresh in stock. Yeah. When we can. When we can. Are we up to temp on the oven left? We are. Outstanding. All right, and how long does it go into the oven? It's about 375. 375, about 25, 30 minutes until your top is nice golden brown and oh. it's all bubbly. Because most everything right now is cooked. You could probably eat it with the exception of the the crust top. Right. You know? Okay. I'm going to pop that. Ready? Yep. And we're in. All right, we're going to start... Uh, I'm not going to say her name because she might set off all of y'all's at home. So yep. I'm going to stop y'all for now and we'll bring you back when she's ready and uh, we'll see you soon. All right. So we pulled it out. Woo! That was a long five minutes of wait. <laughs> I tell you what, we were wanting to throw our forks right in that pan. For reals. Now I know this is a side dish, but this is gonna be our dinner. This is our dinner today. <laughs> yep. Oh, she I'm going straight for the Brussels sprouts. I am too. Get a little bit of everything on it. It's still smoking hot, though. Mm. Brussels sprouts are perfect. Not overdone at all. Mm -hmm. Not mm. too hard. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's why we fell in love with the recipe. It's just... It's so fall-like. Hey! Can't you see we're recording here? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's as good as I remember it. Yeah. It's been a minute since we've had it. It's been quite a minute. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Well, the puppies are having fun, so <laughs> on that note, we'll let you go till next time. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Babe, it is so good. <laughs>